Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. Um, recently I've been playing some Treasure of Montezuma Blitz on the PlayStation Vita. Uh, I did some videos way back when the Vita first came out, going over some of the tips that I use and how I get high scores. So this game right here, actually, I was recording. I got a, like 89 million points on it, a little bit more than that, almost 90 million. And uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the tips that I use that help me get such high scores. Now, I usually get high scores, not necessarily around 90 million, but I'll, I'll get them like in the 40s, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, pretty consistently. So I, I guess the tips that I use do work pretty good. I'm not one of the people that can get in like the billion scores. I don't, I don't really know how those guys do that. I'm sure that some of the tips that I'm going to tell you today are probably the tips that they use. But um, yeah, maybe I'm just not like as skilled as them. But um, here you can see me playing. Sorry about the orientation of the, the camera. I had to leave it vertical like that. Um, now you'll notice my first tip is I, I hold my, my Vita sideways like that. If you can kind of see like it, it's vertical, I'm not holding it horizontal. And that's just, just because it's more comfortable where I can use my left thumb to tap the question mark. Now the question mark, when you keep tapping it, it's going to always show you where there's a possible move. So that that's a really good tip. It allows you not to just sit there and, and waste time having to search for things. So that's a tip that I use. Um, another thing is you just you just got to be fast. You want to go as fast as you can. You want to create chains because when you create chains, you're gonna you're gonna fill that frenzy meter. And when you get that frenzy going, it's gonna give you I think like five times your normal score. Um, now going into some of the the totems and bonuses that I use for my totems, I like to use the purple totem, which if you get if you knock out a row of purples and then you knock out right after that. A row of purple it's gonna throw a couple bonuses up on the the board whether it be you know additional points or it it could be like the thing that shows you where there's all the moves on the board or extra time bonuses so that's a good one to have um, and then the other totem I like to use is the orange totem which if you knock out an orange line and then again knock out another orange line that's going to give you more time to play and that you know more time to play you can get more points so that's obviously gonna be a good tip so those are the two colored totems that I use as for the bonuses that I use um, I use the bonus that puts more crystals on the board and that's gonna go hand in hand with the other bonus that I use which is for every crystal that you get at the end of the game it'll give you 10,000 um, points per crystal uh, I forget what the name of that that one is but um so those are good. And then the third bonus that I use is the, which one do I use? Hmm, I can't, I'm trying to think of what's the third one that I use. Oh, the uh, the one that extends your frenzy, gives you a longer frenzy time. I think it, it jumps up to like 20 seconds. Um, and then the three bonuses that I don't use are all like destructive bonuses where they eliminate um, pieces on the board. Now those are, are good in a sense, but they're not good because to my knowledge, if you start using that, it's going to kill your frenzy. It's not going to allow you to use that frenzy where you can get the five times score. So I don't like to use those. So that's pretty much as much as I can tell you about as far as like the tips that I use that help me get the high scores. Um, this video is kind of a long video, so it'll kind of drag out to the end. Um, if you guys just want to skip to the end, that's cool. But uh, I think this game went for about maybe five minutes total. And I, I know some of those people that get the billion scores, they, they could be sitting there and playing a half hour game. So, um, you know, that's that's just crazy. You know, like I can't imagine playing this game for that long. Um, I think at the end of this game, I get like the, um, the little shadow thing. I forget, I forget what they call it, where the cloud kind of covers up all the pieces. Now, I don't really know how you get that or what's the benefit of getting that. I know if you use the back touch screen, you can kind of clear some of the smoke away where you can see the piece a little bit better to try and get um, you know more points and yeah yeah like I said I don't I don't know what the point of that is if you're supposed to try and somehow clear the smoke or or what but I mean it's good because it gives you a little extra time to you know tag on a little extra points at the end of your game so that's cool so you'll see that and um, yeah I'm just trying to think of what else I can tell you guys there's not really much that I can say so I'll let you guys just kind of finish up watching this video yeah, if this video helped you out at all, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Help me out by subscribing to my channel. Um, if you want me to do some other videos, maybe try and get a little bit of better clarity, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to do another video for you guys, as long as I know that it's helping somebody and that you guys actually want to see me do it. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.